Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the workload list as well as the sign queue in Meditech Expanse. The workload is this panel you will see in green on your tracker. The workload will be broken down into different types of tasks based upon what kind of communication and information is being brought to your workload. For example, the workload will show laboratory results that come back on a patient that have been resulted after the patient has been discharged from the hospital. Laboratory investigations that come back while the patient is still in hospital will go directly to your tracker. However, once the patient is discharged, if anything gets resulted after that time, it will show up here on your workload list under results. For example, here I can see I have a results on a patient. When I click on it, I can see that this is a cytology specimen result. I can go in and review this, and when I'm done, I can complete it from my workload task by hitting complete. When I return back now to my tracker, and my tracker refreshes, you can now see that that result has come off my workload. The workload list will also show such things as consultations that I've been asked to go see. If I click on here, I will see the name of the patient that I've been requested to go see as a consultant. If I click on it, it will tell me the reason for the consult, and I can go ahead and jump into the patient's chart and review any documentation or other laboratory investigations on the patient. The workload list is only a reminder to show you that you have a consult. You can complete the consult over here, which will take the patient off your workload list. This, however, will not complete the consult. In order to complete the consult, you'll have to do this through your My Consult Tracker or completing the consult in the Order menu. By completing the consult when you press this button, we'll remove the patient from your workload. As you can see here, the patient is no longer on my workload list. Up on the top navigation bar, you will see the Sign button. The Sign button is your sign queue for pending orders and documentation that needs to be signed off. You will see in the top corner of the button the number of items that are waiting to be signed off. I'm going to click the Sign button and go into the Sign module. Once I'm in the module, you will see that over here I have orders that I need to sign off on. These are orders that are likely been given as verbal orders which re are required to be signed off. If I collapse the order section, you will see that I also have documentation that I need to sign off as well. The order section will automatically default and select all the orders that need to be signed off. I can go over here and submit the orders by clicking on the submit button in the bottom right hand corner. When I hit submit, it lists all the orders that are waiting to be signed off. I can go into each individual order and review it but if I'm happy with these orders, I can go ahead and sign them off by clicking Sign. I enter my PIN number, and then the orders will now be signed off. Once the orders have signed off in the system, they will now clear from my sign list. Similarly, if I have documents that need to be signed off, I can select them here. Unfortunately, at this time, you cannot select all the documents by hitting one button. You can, however, quickly select all the documents that you want to review by clicking beside them. Once you've selected the ones you want to sign off, you would hit the Submit button down here in the left hand, right hand corner. When you hit the Submit button, it's going to list all those documents that you have queued up for signing. I can now go ahead and hit the sign button and enter my PIN number to sign these documents off. Once they've been signed off, they will now fall off my sign list. If I have some documents here that I want to sign off, but I do want to edit them and make changes to them, you can do this directly through the sign queue as well. Here I have a pediatric document started. 
if I wanted to go in and make changes to this document, I could select the Edit button to go in, bring up the template, and continue making any changes I need to make. I can then, after I'm done, go back over to the Submit button in the bottom right-hand corner, hit Submit, enter my PIN number, and then once again sign off those documents. It is important to remember that documents that are in a draft state do not get copied to any of the providers outside of the hospital until they are signed off. Please remember to try to keep your sign list up to date. Thanks for watching.